Hello everybody, today I'll be talking about the, how the global pharma sector can protect their patents under the Indian Patent Act and when we talk about the Indian Patent the Law, there's a section which talks about section 3, what are not inventions. So how to take care of the uh, therapeutic efficacy of a patent application, how the pharmaceutical sector is growing in India, how the business by 2021 is going to be $300 billion business across the globe and the Indian uh, generic companies would be one-fifth of total earning uh, globally. And by 2021 uh, around about 1.5 trillion dollars would be earned and one-fifth of the share of the total uh, pie of the global uh, pharmaceutical sector will be owned by the Indian giants and particularly by the companies uh, namely CIPLA, then we have uh, Catala Healthcare, then we have uh, Torrent Pharmaceuticals. So these are the branded uh, generic companies who are into manufacturing drugs uh, for lifestyle diseases and other diseases which are associated. So compulsory licensing uh, was granted for Bayer's patent for treating cancer. So how to see and foresee this uh, whole uh, patent system and how to understand and get some of the patent grant in India because the general notion or the general objection in any uh, pharmaceutical or a biotech report is section 3D which talks about uh, the therapeutic efficacy of the uh, drug molecule, how the therapeutic efficacy can be determined. I would be taking different uh, videos uh, in the coming uh, days which will talk about how those applications were treated by the uh, patent examiners in India and how a leap can be taken and those parameters are uh, kept in uh, writing a patent application particularly if any of my clients they ask me about how to go about getting a pharmaceutical patent grant in India I generally tell them give a lot of scientific data as far as your formulation is concerned there is no thumb rule which talks about what is therapeutic efficacy and definition of therapeutic efficacy is very open-ended so the more the data you provide in your detailed description of the application the easier it will be for the patent attorney or the company you hire for your litigation or even you know getting that patent grant in India. So the global pharmaceutical sector, the basic idea in India is to provide the affordable medicine. That is very true. We need affordable medicines. At the same point of time, we should understand when we talk about the patent application, particularly in the pharmaceutical sector, a lot of R&D money is invested in actually getting a molecule to a market. A lot of phase trials are there. A lot of costs are involved. So we should respect that at the same time we need to balance out how to give that affordable medicines uh, to the community at large and this can only be done uh, by enacting new laws because these are the new age diseases there was a point of time even the word cancer uh, was a very new word now one in hundred or one in thousand are suffering from some kind of uh, cancer-based diseases. So keeping that in mind, new laws should be enacted and the pricing of patents have to be done in view of the data available rather than just granting a compulsory licensing under the patent law. So a very nice term uh, which uh, I would like to discuss today, like just we play monopoly, there is a word called as monopsony. So when we talk about monopsony, it's basically there's a market for goods and services and there are a lot of uh, providers, infinite sellers, however the buyer is one. And when we say the buyer is one, so the buyer uh, is the person who's determining the price. So don't get into such kind of uh, doing uh, or providing a service or you know selling your products whereby there's only one buyer. So that's a caution notice uh, which I just wanted to discuss. And the other ways of progressing through business is again patenting is only a one aspect however if you can foresee the bigger picture if you have any questions related to intellectual property i would be happy to assist i'm pretty kastige founder ceo of tcis india please put your question in the comment box below you can also connect with me on linkedin have a great day ahead and i look forward uh, clearing your doubts in the near future bye bye take care